A star system located 3,000 light years away from Earth will explode soon, according to NASA. Can it be dangerous to us? What is it? Will we be able to see it? From which countries? How can I find it? Let's answer all those questions so you can be properly prepared for what's coming. Whoa, 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 hold on. Explosions in the sky? NASA? Visible naked eye? Fake news. Come on, man. I'm not a scientist. I'm a guy like you. And I don't even trust in most of the institutions that want to impose their ideas. However, this is science and this is proved to be true as I will show you in this video. So give a chance to me and to science to explain to you what's going to happen. T. Corona Borealis or TCRB last exploded in 1946 and according to NASA it will do it again between now and September 2024. Therefore, we better be prepared for the event. It's right now. The explosion is predicted to become visible to the naked eye for several days and potentially visible for over a week through binoculars. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime viewing opportunity as the Nova Burst only occurs about every 80 years. And we will be following everything in this channel. I will be tracking everything that happens around this event. I will warn you everywhere about when it's happening and I will be pointing the 12-inch Dobsonian telescope outside to watch it in real time with you in this Dobsonian power channel. So stay tuned! But is this a supernova? Like Betelgeuse star explosion we've been waiting for? Well, this is not like Betelgeuse, but has the same level of danger to us on Earth. Actually, Betelgeuse has been exhibiting an unusual behavior, including dimming, which led to speculation about its imminent explosion. However, it's important to note that predicting exactly when Betelgeuse might go supernova is extremely challenging. While it's true that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle and could potentially explode within the next 100,000 years, a relatively short time frame in astronomical terms, Pinpointing a more precise time frame is beyond our current capabilities. A supernova explosion of Betelgeuse would be a spectacular event, visible even during the daytime from Earth, but as of now there hasn't been any new prediction or update suggesting that its explosion is imminent. Astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse and other stars in the hope of gaining a better understanding of stellar evolution and the processes leading up to supernova events. Betelgeuse recently had a super rare occultation by an asteroid and we watched the event in real time with my telescope, transmitting to thousands of sky lovers all over the world. But what about this T. Coronae Borealis explosion? Isn't it a supernova as well? Well, it's different. A supernova occurs when a massive star explodes at the end of its life, having run out of fuel. A nova, on the other hand, is the temporary brightening of a star before it fades again. T. Coronae Borealis TKRB, is a recurrent nova system located 3000 light years away in the Corona Borealis constellation. It consists of a binary star system with a white dwarf and a companion star. Recurrent nova undergo periodic outbursts when the white dwarf accretes material from its companion, leading to a sudden increase in brightness known as a nova eruption. T. Coronae Borealis has experienced multiple nova outbursts separated by periods of quiescence, with intervals between eruptions ranging from decades to centuries. Studying T. Coronae Borealis and similar systems provides valuable insights into binary star evolution stellar explosions and accretion onto white dwarfs. So yes, it will explode but in a different way. But if it is located 3000 light years away from us, and if the light traveled all that time through space to reach us, why do we say it's happening now? Didn't it already happen? How do they know? Yes, it happened in the past. As all the deep sky objects we see in the sky, Many of them may not exist anymore or simply moved or transformed. Everything in the universe is moving. Even the sunlight takes 8 minutes to reach us. It has a much smaller delay because it's much closer to us. 
Even when you're talking to someone on the street, what you're seeing is the reflection of light over everything. It also has a delay until the image reaches your brain. But it's so small that it makes no difference to us. Each one of us has a slightly different reality and moment in time. Therefore, you can watch from the perspective that everything is real, because in fact it is, to your eyes. That's your reality. This way, we keep it simple. And this T. coronae borealis nova explosion is recurrent. That's why scientists can predict it with some accuracy. They analyzed previous data. On the other hand, the Betelgeuse explosion is harder to predict. But will it have any impact on Earth? Is it visible from anywhere in the world? The constellation Corona Borealis, the northern crown, can be seen at the latitudes between 90 degrees and minus 50 degrees. Therefore, if you are within that wide range, you will be able to see it. But if you can't because of your location or bad weather, I have good news for you. I will do a live stream when the event occurs and I will warn everyone as soon as it starts. As I have many telescopes and I'm always watching the sky with them, it will be almost impossible to miss this event. Besides, the Dobsonian power community, the explorers wouldn't let me sleep on it. They are always on top of what's happening in the night sky. But if you can see it, to find it, it's pretty easy. The constellation Corona Borealis, or the Northern Crown, looks like a small semicircular arc near Boots and Hercules constellations. This is where the outburst will appear as a new bright star. That means if you can take a photo of it now, it will look different during the explosion because you will see a new bright star in the sky. Like magic. But is it dangerous? Will it affect the Earth? This is a recurrent explosion. It happened before. The size of it will be the same as Polaris, the North Star, which we can see naked eye as well. Also, will reach a similar size as the brightest star in the constellation where it will occur, the Alpheca star in the Corona Borealis constellation. And here you have the precise location of the Blaze Star where the Nova explosion will occur. You can also find it inserting in any sky application the star reference. HIP 78322 or HD 143454. And it's too far away from us. Therefore, the T. Coriona Borealis event will not represent any danger to humans on Earth. Start preparing this event looking to the sky at night and try to find the Corona Borealis constellation. Then, Please tell me in the comments if you succeeded. If so, it will make me very, very happy. Meanwhile, you can watch this video over here to know more about watching the sky through a telescope.